on this. <sighs> okay. Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, today's forecast is moody with a chance of rain clouds. Whoa, shucks. Okay, bro. They're not going away at all. Nathaniel. It's okay, Siori. You have a weird name. I know I do. It might take some time for things to get better again. I hate your parents. I know, so do I. We're technically his parents. What? Yeah, we're technically his parents. I'm the daddy. <laughs> Let them, I don't matter how long. I'm, no, I'm, I don't want to be able to. <laughs> but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. You're just a babysitter. I'm trusty. Okay. Sarah and I slowly release each other. No. <laughs> so, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Uh, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as always. <sighs> it's better than nothing. Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle any anything more right now. It's really new and it's scary to me. I understand. We'll go on. We'll go with whatever pace suits you best. Make sure that's plugged in. My OCD is bothering me. And now check the other plug-in cord in the middle between this and that. There's a plug-in between this and that. No, see, you did, uh, in the middle of the cord. There's oh, the box. The box. Oh, the box. It's plugged in. We're good. Pace suits you. Hey, Nathaniel. Seward gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad. It's the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this is making me feel sad? Making you feel sad, Sarah? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of songs when you tell me you love me. Oh. Ooh, you sure want to go with this? Dang, dude. That's why I wanted to trust you. You know what's best for me? Yeah. And Monica doesn't. Don't listen to whatever Monica said. Yeah, Monica seems like a bitch. I do. I do! Yeah, let's get me! Okay. That's my promise. <sighs> I say that, but in reality, I never felt more certain when it comes to Sayori. That's what I imagine. I don't know that I love her and she I know loves that. Me. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. Take her to a counselor. Take her to, yeah, take her to a counselor. Take her to people who know what they're doing. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back where they are. Isn't there a school counselor they can go to? This isn't about you! Is that what Siri meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Siri's the most important person to me. Okay, at least he actually loves her, loves her. Yeah, at least he does. Lying. Yeah. I'll do whatever it takes to make a happy future with her. To have a happy future. To have a happy future with her. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, It's the day of the festival. <clears throat> All of days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school, Siori. Go pick up. But Siori isn't answering her phone. Oh, f Maybe she's just sleeping. Maybe she's just sleeping. I consider going to her house wake her up, but I decided it's a little too much. What are you doing? I can see why, though. I can see why he didn't. Why? Because it would pressure her into thinking that, like, he's, that she's being a burden to him. Okay. I see why, but meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Look, he's already texting up a storm. <sighs> But I can't respond, thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Siori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <laughs> Running! <laughs> Nathaniel, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. I hate you, Monica. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing a little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. I don't think that's necessary. There must be one sheet there must be one sheet of pair that all probably before me. But there's only five of us, so I don't think that all, all of those are necessary. What's like a sixth no one really knows about with some dude named Doug? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm from Detroit. 
in the end, yeah. In the end, I found random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and I submitted it. Wow, way to be on the original. <laughs> so that's what I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she was slept again. That dummy. <laughs> you know it's not over sleeping. Hey, but you think that, that he really wants to tell her? You think that on days this point she tried a little harder? I say that by saying remember what Sayori told me yesterday. I just okay. I'm not okay. I know this is serious, but you imagine Monica going over here. You should kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way out. <laughs> so I feel awful knowing it's nearly that, not nearly that simple for Do her. Do not commit suicide if you're in one of those states. Yeah, seriously, like suicide's a really serious thing. You will get through this. Go see a therapist. Yeah, that's. Or smoke weed. Don't do that. I mean, if it's legal in your states and you're on your and you're the age of eighteen, I mean, if you're up, up it age, will kill you just to wait. Just because smoking, just because smoking is legal, doesn't mean you should do it. No, pot. I hate you. I meant marijuana. That's what you said. Thinking. Ah. Uh, I understand. Well, yes. No, cigarettes. Cigarettes are gross, bro. Maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Wake me up, wake, wake me, me up, up inside. inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Call my name and save me from the dark. Oh, did you did you see the? Um, now that I, did you see the Christmas version? It goes like, wake me uh, up, wake me up. It's, it's, it's wake like a, me up, wake me up, wake me up inside. <laughs> Call my name. Hey. Save me from the dark, from the nothing I become. You should, you should take a little responsibility for her, Nathaniel. I mean, especially after you exchanged with her yesterday. Wait, hold on. Kind of left her hanging in the morning, you know. You did tell her! Exchange. Well, you know that? Of course I do. I'm the club president. What the f- but I stammer, embarrassed. Wait, did she really- Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. She didn't tell her to kill herself. Wait, because there's no way she would just... Wait. No, I'm done. Wait. This is Sayor's poem. They yeah. said her the... Yeah. I get, my, get, my, get out of my head. Or I do what? I know what is best. Dude! In my head, I listen to it. Dude, what if, what if Monica's in her head? Bro, no, that's just depression that's in her head. Bro, that's, that's, are you sure? From, that's from depression. Bro. Oh my gosh. Hey, sorry, I was knocking the door. I don't care if it's your line. I'm expecting answer, but she's not people in front of it. Like, I straight up in the door and let myself in. See, all right? That's you. She does have a sleeper I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Dude! This is something a boyfriend do, isn't it? This is going where we believe it's going. Mature content. Yeah, it could be really graphic. You don't know. In any case, I just, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's they no left response. her hanging. There's no response. They left her hanging. I really did want to enter. I really didn't want to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? There's really no choice. I just open the door. Oh. Wow, <sighs> game scripts. Boy, see trace back text for details. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? Has to be. Man, she's really short. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sri wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That, that's why I can't believe that my eyes are showing me. Monica told her the way out. I suppress the urge to vomit. Monica told her the way out. Yeah. Just yesterday. Told Sior that I'd be there for her. Told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. Th then why? Why would you do this? 
How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sarah needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Wanna go back? Nah, that's gonna be inevitable, you know that. She'll feel betrayed. He knows how it's gonna be. Then why not I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? Yeah, why were you? Why were we? This is my fault. Yeah, it is your fault. It's Nathaniel's fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I just spent more time with her. Walked her to school. I made friends to her like I'd always been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This is some game where I can reset and try something different. You're hinting to something. I only ha I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. Now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Wait. Uh, try to load game. Happy search. Hey. Still recording? They are. It won't record this. It won't, it won't record it? No, it's only recording the main screen. I mean, Doki Doki. I'll look at that on um, some other time. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh. That's. Uh, she's gone. Whoa. Dude. Wait. What was that? What was that? Look at that. Yeah. That's a new game. Are you sure it's a new game? That's low, that, that's the same. So, so try try that. Cause it's different now. That's new game. Wait. Try hey that you take off the speech. Wait, so seeing knowing girl running toward me from distance, waving her arms and hands, she's totally oblivious to any tension she might draw to herself. That girl is one side. My neighbor and good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making a day, but it kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But I know, I know this, so. You know, I've always watched school and I always have myself all the time. She doesn't exist. It's like she wasn't even there. No, it's, everything's the same. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's like, it's like she wasn't even there in the first place. So most of them would probably be a way to demanding to demand for me to want to deal with. So the anime club. Listen, wait, who who's saying this? This Daniel. Monica? Oh my goodness! I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. 
Monica Spaw, sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. <laughs> Smart, beautiful, athletic. Always running. Always running. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for supplies from, to use for my club. Don't you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I don't care about the voice no more. I guess you can check the closet. I I just don't like Monica. Monica told her to kill herself. Dude, she did. Dude. Let's just continue. Let's just... You're in, you're in a debate club, right? Running. Yeah, about that. I actually quit the debate club. I'll voice Monica if you're not going to. Y'all. <sighs> no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> That's how you voice someone to voice somebody. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Especially the politics club, man. <laughs> it feels like it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for anything. Yeah, I used to be at the debate club, but there's just too many debates. <laughs> I just best rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting to do it. I'm to do a literature club. Deja vu. I have seen this place, baby. That sounds kind of dull. Tap, tap. How many members do you have so far? I'll check one more time, but I'll leave it alone for a second. There's nothing. Um. Ah. Uh, <laughs> kind of a mess, but there are only three of us so far. Running. Running! <laughs> really hard to find a member of something that sounds so boring. Hmm. Just not as boring as you, th as you would initially think, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, freaking. Uh, well, I can see that. Me too. Mm. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Yeah, I know, because you have to freaking make people kill themselves. Literature could be anything reading, writing poetry. I mean, <laughs> one of my members, the wolf, she actually killed her. Like, what if she was in her mind and killed her? Because she, as we know, can break the fourth wall by doing that crap. Oh, at least Natsuki's still here. Dude, I'm still thinking, though, that freaking she killed her. I think she was in her head. Because she was a file. Maybe she... Well, there's only one way to find out. Maybe she corrupted her file. Yeah, it's funny, right? Okay, did, was she always like this, or did it start recently when she stopped sleeping in? No, she was... I mean, when she started sleeping in. How long has she been doing it? Uh, she says she's been doing it her whole life, but it's really got her heart after Monica talked to her. No, because, listen... It's in the beginning of the game, starting uh, starting sometime recently or so. She started sleeping in more and more. Yeah, so maybe maybe after after you joined the literature club, she got jealous and made made Sayori messed up in the head. Okay. She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, members a member, right? Unless I kill them. <laughs> Did Monica say she? Hmm. There's eight, 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 six reasons to join this club. Yeah, there was eight. The eyes. Yeah, there was eight eyes. Oh, that's what's up. By, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Um, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, running! <laughs> Is there any chance you can go, you can do me a big favor? <laughs> He's not as big as you think. What? Hey, what? What do you say? What? Nothing. Oh no! I would actually enjoy it, but if you could at least visit my club and make you really happy. Please! <laughs> um. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse, besides, how could I ever refuse? Dang it, I only have one person to voice now. Yeah. I'm taking Yuri from you. Take Monica from me. I hate her. Okay. I hate her so much. Sure, I guess I can check it out. Yeah, this is uh, uh, to end, uh, after I'll end this video after this. This is a segment I like to call "Try uh, Trying Voices." Man, I just love that segment. Just choose a voice for her. Ooh, ooh, ah! Just replace Sayori's voice. No, she actually saw. No, Sayori. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, yeah. dude, just make it more demented. Hi! 
Yep. Oh, yep. uh, awesome! You're really sweet, Nathaniel. You know what? You know that? Oh, until next time, I'll always be watching you. Peace out, brownies. God bless. Have a good day. You know? Brownies. Brownies. I love those brownies. Those, those brownies, man. All right, that's enough. <laughs>